Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. We have some more news, some very interesting news today, so let's get straight to it. The very first thing that I have for you guys is actually a new line of figures coming from Bandai, and they are called Planosaurus. Now as we roll through some of these images here, you can basically see they are skeletons, and on top of being skeletons, you can then put like a skin texture over top, or in the case of this Velociraptor, it's very cool looking clearish type of a uh, covering. And then again, as you move through, you'll see that we have quite a few other species here in the line. And I think some of them look really nice. Some of them not so much. I'm not like a huge fan of a few of them, like the T-Rex that's uh, like the scaly T-Rex. Looks a little weird, but as we move through to the feathered T-Rex, I think that one looks a little better. And uh, we also, again, have species like Triceratops, and the Triceratops, I think, looks really quite nice, and Stegosaurus and stuff. And I'm not entirely sure how many, you know, species overall we're going to get for this line, but I definitely think they look pretty fun and potentially worth picking up. So hopefully they'll be, you know, readily available here in the United States, and we can order some because I wouldn't mind seeing some of these in person. And then when it comes to Star Ace and the Wonders of the Wild line, something that was a little surprising to me that I wasn't expecting is we actually have another version of their Spinosaurus coming. This time we've got a land version. And honestly, I feel like I really need this one as well, just because it would be cool to have the kind of slightly submerged version that we had prior and a version standing on land so it's almost as if it's like a mating pair of spinosaurus near each other and this one i actually think looks even better potentially as far as the color scheme goes than the previous one like i really really love the tones of color i also really quite like the kind of beach setting that we have going on for this model and you can also get the fossil replica as well if that's something you're interested in again purchasing the deluxe version so definitely another really cool release from star ace continuing to impress me with the really neat ideas they're coming up with now again releasing the slightly submerged and now the land version of the spinosaurus definitely very very cool on their part and then we have a look here at the upcoming sarcosuchus from rebor yes they will still be releasing this we know the dinosuchus is already on its way the pre-orders have been out for a little while now but this is at least confirmation that the sarcosuchus will be coming as well so i assume that means that the dinosuchus pre-orders did pretty well for themselves because i can't wait to see this one and i think they were kind of basing this one off of how good the pre-orders for the dinosuchus went if they were going to create the sarcosuchus i could be wrong on that but i think i had read that somewhere that Rebor had stated that and uh, definitely awesome to have a sarcosuchus coming that hopefully will look just as nice as the dinosuchus does and then as far as nanmu goes they actually had just teased us earlier with this image here showing off the fact that in 2023 we will be getting another version of a jurassic park t-rex so previously the ones that they had released i think are more of like the male and female from the lost world this time around, maybe we're going to get a Rexy. I'm not too sure. I would definitely like to see a model of a T-Rex that is definitely, definitively a Rexy. I think the female they released prior looked more like the Lost World version, more so than Rexy. Uh, I mean, there's obviously similarities between both of those Tyrannosaurs, but I think that uh, Nanmu has really been upping their game lately, so I'd be very excited to see what they do with this newest version and how good it will look and then the final thing that we have today is actually from Mattel and we have a very very exciting release coming from them something that you know I definitely did not see coming well I kinda had suspicions but we actually have another large sauropod this time it appears as though even though we haven't had any confirmation on it but it appears as though we are getting a mementi source so obviously i'm going to go ahead and imagine this is going to be a legacy collection release as it's obviously a lost world jurassic park dinosaur and looking at it here you might look at the tail and wonder why it's like a pinkish tone or the coloration of the throat doesn't run all the way down underneath the dinosaur i'm going to go ahead and say that this is the mementi source still in the prototype stage but this was actually for sale i believe on a website the dino mike mac visits and he's actually the one that stumbled upon it so all credit goes to him for the images but uh very very cool looking honestly it's neat to have another large sauropod coming from mattel even if we don't really have room for any more large sauropods a mementi source is one that is long overdue and then the very final thing that we have here is actually a website that dino mike mac yet again stumbled upon with a listing for a jurassic world 93 classic electronic t-rex so if you're like me and you've been a fan of the Jurassic Park line for a very long time, this is obviously going to instantly make you think Red Rex. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is Mattel 
creating the classic Kenner Red Rex in obviously a more updated form. And I'm very, very excited about this. I can't wait to see what it actually looks like. Can't wait to see all the action features and everything that would go along with it. I would love for a real feel skin, but I wouldn't go ahead and count my chickens before they hatch, especially when it comes to Mattel. Without question, something that I think many people are going to be excited about. And even though we don't actually have visual confirmation that this is a Red Rex, I'm going to go ahead and put my money on the fact that it most definitely is. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way. But until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.